mandolin. All you ever do is play and sing those songs you write. And then if I get real lucky, you get real lucky. I'm not complaining about that. You sure know how to make a girl feel real good. Shit. You didn't even notice this here new dress. Aren't you going to ask where it came from? Don't you want to know who bought it? Well, if that's the right pretty dress, McGill, really brings out your inner beauties and compliments your eyes, too. Rocky, you just don't take good care of your sweet mail. Besides, I'm getting real bored. I need some excitement. I need to be where there's lots of people. I'm leaving you. I need someone who'll give me the attention I deserve. McGill, everybody's got to do what they think is right. Your sweet little believing you, Rocky. Slicker Dad is here, and he's taking me into town. He bought me this here dress, and he's going to buy me anything my heart desires. Dan's my new man now. He's calling me a high, fast, exciting life, and I'm going with him. Nancy's my woman now. We're going to live in town. She's going to have a great time sashing her pretty little self all over town. Yeah, with her by my side, we'll be the toast of the town. Boys will just be lined up, drooling as the rain gets started, Lil. We'll go dancing every night. Your Lil's leaving you, Rocky. Leaving for good. And we think that fine spotted pony. What do you think about that, boy? Nancy said you give it to her, so we're going to take it. Bye, McGill. You sure do look pretty. Your Lil's a leaving. And Nancy, hold up a minute. Songs of a bird. Once 
once we were a proud people. Now we are but a faded joke of the white man. And to the victor only the spoils. Well, well, 
Yes, boy. Pardon me, brother, but as the president of this uh, city's chamber of commerce, I'd like to welcome you. Oh, I see you're a musician. Why, that's just fine. We just lost old Jake, our own musician. A slight indiscretion in a card game. Too bad he was one hell of a musician. Thanks for the official welcome. And the tip on the gig, but I won't be staying around too long, I reckon. Yep, that's what I heard. Too bad. We sure could use some good shit-kicking music at the hoedown this evening. First things first. I need a room, and then there's a problem I gotta straighten out. Uh, I got a score to settle, one way or another. Yep, but that's what I heard. Too bad. Say, you could sure use some shooting irons. How about these? I can make you a fine deal on them. We could trade them to you. Sight of oh, no, sorry. No way. Okay, okay. You drive a hard bargain, stranger. I'll tell you what. This iron holster included for just 20 Americans. Fully included.
room and a little information. Who's talking third? General Hall. On the 13th? Thanks. I say, could you tell me the whereabouts of Flicker Dan? I should have known. There's no big gun hanging on his shoulders. Excuse us, gentlemen. Hello, Doc. 
Uh, Mr. Kuhn, Joe the bartender says you might be a player. Is that true? Yeah, Rocky. Our last mandolin player kind of quit playing, played their life, but he left a mighty fine mandolin sitting right over there in that stand. You're welcome to give it a try. Go ahead, son. It may be your last chance. Who knows? You may have a change of heart. You know, I could stand to play a lick or two. Come on, let's get to it, fellas. Perhaps music shall indeed soothe the savage beast. Very good. 